Today I will show how to use the LogCat tool from Android Studio to capture logs from an Android device. In this case I have an Android 10 Nokia device, but this is, doesn't matter, it works uh, in any version and any brand. And also I'm using a, a Windows 10 uh, machine. First step will be to download and install Android Studio, latest version, go to developer.android.com slash studio or just type download Android Studio in Google and you'll get there. Install it, launch it. You'll see a screen that looks kind of like this. You will not have any projects on uh, if you just installed it, but you can just go to create new project, select the most basic thing there, maybe select the language over there, Java, and then click on finish and that, uh, that will start the will open up with all the options. Now, and, and we see here, one of the options in the bottom is the log cat. This is where we will see the logs, but yes, we have no connected devices. So now we have to connect the device. Before I'm able to connect my device and use it in log cat, I'll need to set up my phone to send this debug information to the computer. So I will have to go to settings and inside of settings get to the developer uh, options. This is in uh, in the case of Android 10, it's in systems, advanced, and here should be the developer options. Now, I don't see them because I haven't enabled them yet. So I'll have to go back all the way down where it says about phone, then scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says build number, start tapping on build number, and you'll see a countdown and after you tap enough times you will have to confirm your security pattern probably if you have any but then it will say developer options are enabled so now i'll go back again to system advanced and now we see this new option developer options that wasn't there before so now it's on now in here i want to enable one very specific thing called the usb debugging this is the one i want to be able to link my phone with the Android Studio. Otherwise, I will not be able to see anything in the LogCat. And now that I'm in this screen, just a quick tip. One more thing I could set up here, which I totally recommend. Go to the section where it says input and enable the show tabs. So because now you will see that the screen will show where my finger is. You see that uh, white ball on the thing on the screen now being rendered this is especially useful if you're using your phone for test purposes and you want to record the screen and see where the interaction was made then it makes it more obvious uh, that's enough i can go back to home and then now i can connect using a usb cable i will connect to the laptop the phone uh, will probably I don't need to enable anything here. If it's the first time you connect, the phone will probably ask you if you want to trust this uh, laptop. And you can just say yes and to remember the decision so that this will uh, not ask you again in the future. Uh, but then by connecting, now we see that how Android Studio automatically detected my phone. However, like if I had more than one device connected, I would have to choose which device is the one I'm, I'm trying to debug here, but we see it's my Nokia 5.1. And here we see lots of logs coming from the phone. Actually, your phone is constantly sending logs or creating logs, except that you don't see them. Now we see them. If you're testing your application, uh, you may not need the verbose option. You may want to see just the warnings. You see how it's only showing warnings, so it's not showing the whole thing, uh, or only errors. This could be a way to just filter out to see only see error messages that are coming from the phone. But yeah, if you if you have verbose, you will see everything: error, non-errors, all kinds of information that uh, are being is being sent from the phone. While this is connected, notice that I can also have the option of uh, doing a screen capture, like taking a screenshot from the phone. However, I recommend using third-party tools like MobiSend or some some other tools when when doing this. But this is an option. So if you want to e extract these uh, logs uh, at any time, you can always select the portion that you want because uh, yeah, you have a timestamp. So, you know, if you reproduced your bug in the last minute, let's say, then, you know, you want to capture this uh, whole minute, then you can, you can sc scroll the whole thing, just uh, copy, open maybe uh, 
notepad uh, or, or some some tool and then you can just uh, paste your log over there and save it as a text file that's one option uh, of course you have the option of filtering uh, by text if you know exactly what you're looking for usually if you submit more logs than necessary the developers are not going to complain about that developers already have their own tools to filter and find exactly what they're looking for so don't worry about it and that's it that's how you capture logs from your android phone using logcat inside of the android studio